As a homeowner in Semiamu for 17 years, a member of the ASC since January 2020 and a board member since January 2021, I am very committed to the welfare of this community. Semiamu has grown from its inception as one neighborhood with three homes in 1985, 25 neighborhoods with 785 residential units today. That is a 26,000% increase in living units and an 833% increase in neighborhoods. It simply can't be run with the same administrative structure it had then. The current board has built on the work of many prior boards in assessing the status of the SRA and its ability to serve the community well in the 21st century. As long as ago as 1993, board member Jerry Kennedy sent a five-page memo to the board asking questions about what items, such as gates, should be in the common cost center of the SRA and pointing out confusion about these issues in the CCNRs. In 2017 and 2018, the board had to deal with the fact that the SRA administration did not have permanent office space and the location of its offices and equipment was determined at the whim of landlords. Professional level management would have identified this risk and prepared for it, avoiding the need to build an administrative and maintenance building under pressure and on short notice. The 2019 board began a deep dive into many issues affecting the SRA. They identified serious issues and challenges that the SRA was facing, such as the costs of the much needed administrative and maintenance building, significant amounts of deferred maintenance, new construction submittals with SRA neighborhoods, aging infrastructure, the rapid growth of the community, and the threat of new developments along Semiamu Parkway. The 2020 board, in a controversial move, obtained a professional assessment of SRA operations that confirmed many of the concerns it had identified in its strategic planning process. Lack of professional management equipped to meet the 2020 standards of running a complex HOA had led to many problems that threatened the ability of the SRA to meet its duties to the community. Concern about the manner in which the consultant report was acquired and financed made it impossible for that board to implement its findings. By the time of the 2021 AGM, only two members of the 2019 AGM board remained on the board. The 2021 board, faced with more than 75% replacement of the previous board and a high level of community concern about the budget, spent the next year reassessing the situation and confirmed many of the fundamental findings of the 2019 board and the consultants. The SRA was in need of professional management with a proven track record, had large deferred maintenance liabilities, did not have standard administrative structures in place to allow for efficient management without additional staff, and has a dangerously underfunded reserve fund placing the organization at a serious risk of large special assessments in the foreseeable future. The 2022 board has continued to review and refine these findings. It identified and hired a highly experienced general manager with outstanding references and reputation. It hired highly qualified maintenance personnel who have had to spend much time on deferred maintenance issues, creating a sustainable maintenance plan and identifying many of the missing or understated long-term maintenance requirements that need to be included in a proper reserve study. It obtained a highly professional and very detailed reserve study that quantified the extent of underfunding and provided a model for long-term refunding to achieve complete funding in a 30-year time frame. It has identified acute needs for personnel, maintenance, and infrastructure that will allow the SRA to reach a state of modern professional management that can meet its duties to the community over the next several years. Because of the large turnover in the board through this challenging time, it is important to maintain some continuity on the board. As a result of three years on the ASC and two years on the Governance Committee and the board, I have acquired a much deeper understanding of the CCNRs and other governing documents of the SRA and the history of many of the major issues confronting this community at this time. I believe that with not that knowledge and experience, working with a number of new members, bringing fresh understandings to the board, we can build on the findings of the past several years, the strength and expertise of our recently hired staff, the careful planning and effort of many community volunteers, and recently started initiatives dealing with the very important challenges to this community to bring the SRA into the 21st century. 